Are you considering to move to San Jose, California, Silicon Valley? Maybe you have a job offer with one of the local high tech companies, but you're really wondering if the cost of living is worth it. Is it really as expensive as New York City? Well, stay tuned because we're going to cover that today. Hi, I'm Teresa Wellman with HomeownerExperience.com, your local San Jose, California realtor. Today we're going to get into some numbers and some nitty gritty comparing different cities in the country to San Jose with the cost of living. I'm gonna share a couple resources so you can do your own calculations, as well as talk about the actual housing expenses here so that you know what you can expect. So let's go ahead and get into the numbers. San Jose is a city located in Northern California, part of the world's high-tech hub, Silicon Valley, with a 2020 population of 1,033,670. It is the third largest city in California and the 10th largest city in the United States. San Jose population has increased 9% since 2010, spanning over 181 miles. San Jose has a population density of 5,800 people per square mile. The average household income in San Jose is 133,334, but to afford a two bedroom rental costs on average $3,000 a month. Ouch! So you need to earn an average income of 133,000 to spend 28% of your income on housing. So yes, housing in San Jose is expensive and many households in the area are dual income to pay for this. They also pay close to 40% of their income on housing. So let's compare San Jose to the national averages. You see here on the screen from payscale.com, the cost of living in San Jose compared to the national average. Overall, it's 50% higher. Um, with housing really sticking out, utilities, groceries, and transportation also a little bit higher. Now here is also from payscale.com, an overview of the median home price, rent, energy bill, phone bill, gas. Well, and I will be here to tell you that these numbers are actually a little low. I don't know when Payscale recently updated this, but this says San Jose housing expenses are 148% higher than the national average. But here is my website at homeownerexperience.com and then you go to San Jose real estate market trends under the market stats button. And you will see that the actual median price for San Jose in September, 2020 was $1.242 million. And so that is quite a bit off of the 840,000 that Payscale is recommending. And let's look at the rent. Uh, the rent they also mentioned was kind of low. And here is a sample of rentals uh, on Zillow. And as you can see, there's several in the 27, 2800, 3200, but 2700 is just a two bedroom apartment. Here is for 3700, a three bedroom, two bath house of 1400 square feet. So it gives you an idea that yes, housing here is quite expensive. Now this pay scale thing also has costs of foods and groceries and healthcare. And I will tell you, eh, the gallon of milk is very wrong. The loaf of bread's pretty close and the eggs uh, probably a little low also. I was just at the grocery store today and at Trader Joe's actually, and the cost of milk is quite a bit higher than depicted here. So I'm gonna jump over to another website, salary.com, because pay scale seems to be off a little bit. And let's now compare different cities cost of living to San Jose. So basically I entered in here a $100,000 software engineer salary. If you lived in San Diego and made $100,000 and you wanted to move to San Jose, what would be the cost of living change? So basically it's saying housing is 24% higher in San Jose and your salary would also go up, but only 16%. So it looks like there would be a net negative change in disposable income of about $8,000. So, you know, consider that or make sure you're getting a much bigger than 16% salary increase when you come up to San Jose. Now, if you're moving from New York, yes, New York is known as one of the most expensive areas in the USA to live. And indeed, thankfully, San Jose is cheaper than New York, um, slightly lower in cost of living and a slightly boost in the salary, giving you a net disposable income of about $11,000 increase, which is pretty nice. So hey, New Yorkers, you might want to move over to San Jose, especially if you're making good money as a software engineer. 
Now, if you live in Seattle, I do see a lot of people from Seattle considering San Jose. Uh, there are definitely some weather benefits and there's a lot of high tech businesses in Seattle where uh, people find good jobs in San Jose and have great skills for San Jose. But the cost of living is 23 or almost 24% higher and you will get about a 15% salary change. So again, if you're considering to make that move, I would make sure you're getting an increase in your salary more than that and hopefully a better job to um, pay well for your expertise. Otherwise, you would see a negative net change of about $9,000 in disposable income. Now, a quick snapshot with Chicago, the cost of living is significantly different in San Jose than Chicago, and the salary is just slightly different with a net negative of minus 27,000, ouch. So you really wanna move, gotta move to California, personally want to, um, or have a really great job to make it worth your while financially. So let's look a little bit more about the housing prices. I mean, I am a real estate agent, so that is my expertise, right? So as mentioned before, the San Jose single family median home price was 1.284. 4 million. And if you put 20% down, which a whole chunk of $248,000, your interest payment at today's interest rates of about 3% would be $4,190 a month. Now that average single family or that median single family home in San Jose is going to have three to four bedrooms and probably 1,600 square feet or so. So it's a decent sized house, much bigger than the two bedroom apartment around $3,000 a month. So even though it is more expensive, you're getting a lot lot more for your money. Now, if you're looking at a condo or a townhome, the average or the median price, sorry, is 730,000. So that could work out to 2588 a month if you've got the 20% down payment. And I'm highlighting two areas here of San Jose. If you're moving here with a family or children, I find that Cambrian Park and Almaden Valley are attractive areas for families due to the neighborhoods, um, more feel like a suburbia feel, as well as a really good schools. And so this gives you a snapshot of the median prices there and what your payment would be. The average home in uh, Cambrian Park is definitely a four bedroom, about uh, 16, 1700 square feet. It just has better schools, so that's why it's a little more expensive. In Almaden Valley, you're gonna get a much bigger homes between 2000, 2500 and even more, and um, great schools as well. So I hope you found this information useful. So yes, the cost of living in San Jose is more than many areas of the country. But there are great high paying, high tech jobs here with a lot of extra benefits, even some RSUs. There are great weather and other wonderful features. So check out my San Jose pros and cons video to learn more about the area and your trade-offs, as well as check out the San Jose best neighborhoods to see what it's like to live here.